Hi everyone, welcome to TechKato. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create subscription product and then send the subscription to Firebase so your web app or your mobile apps will recognize who purchased the product and then they can use it outside of WordPress. Okay, let's go. So the first thing that you will need is a list of plugins. So I'm going to show you, you will need WooCommerce extension in order to see the WooCommerce database such as products, subscribers, orders from WordPress to Firebase and then you will need the Integrate Firebase Pros. This is the main plugin that you will need. And then WooCommerce and then you will have the WooCommerce subscriptions in order to create subscription products. So the first thing that you will need to do is to create a new product. I'm going to name this one as product 8, for example. And then description for product 8. And in this one, you have the option to create a simple subscription or a variable subscription. So I'm going to choose the variable subscription. Okay, and then you're going to go to attribute and then I'm going to add a attribute for subscription. Okay, this one um, could be billing for example. And then I'm going to have monthly versus uh, yearly. And then I'm going to click for use for variations. And then I'm going to save it. Okay, and then after you save, it will show you a variation tab here. And under this one, you can create variation from on attribute. Okay. So two variations added. Okay, so you have monthly and yearly. So for example, in this one, um, I'm going to have like you pay monthly, you're gonna to to pay like ten dollar per month, for example. And then for yearly, um, could be ninety nine every year. This one is just example of two payment or billing methods that you can use. Okay. And then I'm gonna publish it. Okay. So after you publish in the database. Um, of the products, um, one forty. In the one forty, where is it? Here, if you have the product sent to Firebase with the billing uh, monthly and yearly, there is the product together with other information. Okay, description, and it's being controlled by the WooCommerce uh, extension here. So, if you uh, have the WooCommerce extension and you choose the database type is Firestore, and then you see the product to Woo products collection, and then you have option to order um, like save order or membership or subscription. So I'm already uh, configured to save subscription to subscription collection and products to WooCommerce products. That's why you see. The new product being seen into Firebase, Firestore. Okay. And then in your app or your mobile apps, you can get this one from this uh, WooCommerce products collection and then show it to the user, for example. Okay, now we go back to the um, products. So we just create this product A, and if you view this one, you have an option. For example, if you choose monthly, you will pay $10 per month, for example. I mean, your customer will have the option to choose between monthly and yearly. So this one, 99 per year, if they choose the yearly option. So ignore this styling. It's not a purpose of this uh, example or this demo. And then I'm going to sign up for the yearly option. And then, okay, I'm going to view code. 
and then I'm gonna go to checkout. Um, make sure that you have the Firebase authentication um, installed because if you don't have it, even though it saves data to uh, Firebase Firestore, but if you don't have the uh, social login or email login, then you don't have the user ID when user purchase the product. I'm gonna show you later. So in this building, I just enter randomly information. So ignore it. And then I'm gonna sign up now. Okay. So I'm gonna buy this product and pay uh, 99 per year for this one. Okay, so order received. So this is my email and then my uh, information. And then inside the subscription, you will have a new subscription document. Okay, the building is within I enter into that one. And the building interval is one year. So it has more, maybe more data than you need. But if you know what you need, uh, you can filter it out. So this product with the ID 140, which is the product A, you can see the ID here. And then the variation is the product A yearly with the variation ID 142. So after users purchase, if user login using the authentication uh, so code, you will have the user ID together with the subscription. So you will know which users belong to this subscription and then you can tag them correctly. And together with the essential information, such as product and users, you will have other information, for example, like this one is the order ID and some other metadata such as shipping, for example. And if you have the uh, WooCommerce orders collection enable. You will also see the order updated here. So let me see. Yeah. So the order for this one is it also has the product ID and the variation. So it depends on the purpose. If you use the solution, it's totally fine. Yeah. So that's everything that you need to uh, configure in order to have your subscription from WooCommerce added to the Firestore so you can target customers from other applications such as web app or mobile apps. Okay, so that's everything. If you have any question, uh, please let me know. Or if you want to have some kind of demo that related to WordPress and Firebase, I'm happy to do it. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.